I'm here to assist you with all your test equipment needs, from multimeters and test weights to patient simulators and x-ray analyzers. If you need guidance or you have any questions, please don't hesitate to write me at jbarber at bcgroupinternational.com. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today we're going to take a look at a technology that you probably have not had the ability to open up and examine personally because doing so would be a very expensive mistake and uh, we have the luxury of going behind the scenes here at Samsung up in Boston, Massachusetts and we're going to take a look inside a couple detector panels and see what tech is going on and uh, we're going to compare and contrast a couple examples and see how tech has evolved over a very short period of time. Interesting. So, spin around and let's check them out. Okay guys, here I have a couple detector panels. They're opened up. Now detector panels are used for digital radiography. They wirelessly transmit an x-ray image to its final processing station or archival storage. And uh, this is what replaces x-ray film in modern day x-ray systems. The thing about these panels is that they are thin, they're lightweight, and they can be dropped. So they come in here and they get repaired or examined in the Samsung facility. And we have a very good luxury of going behind the scenes and seeing how they work. So I have here an older panel. And when I say older, it's really not that old. This panel is from 2003. April 2003 and you can see that it is a pretty complex thing we have the battery in right here we have battery ma maintenance module we have the FPGA based uh, controller we have a Wi-Fi board and we have right here the interfaces boards for the detector array which is on the opposite side and uh, the difference is, is that they have a glass version and a non glass version and the difference is uh, partially its sensitivity and its um, durability. The other part is its weight. The glass panels are definitely heavier than the non-glass. And we have a non-glass, more modern version right here. And I see that they put a lot of Celastic around a lot of components. And they do that for durability reasons. The interconnects are beautiful. Something that I would honestly expect from Samsung is uh, a lot of microelectronics and to be experts at that you can see right here this is a composite material it's all machined take a look at all those machining marks and the thing is the machining has to be absolutely uniform and it is shielded almost like it's a faraday cage for noise it does have wireless antennas and it does have an interface and some io because it has to communicate charge its battery etc cool stuff now, um, this one here, it definitely uses a different battery. The older system uses a 11 volt, 3400 milliamp hour. And as I was just informed, this battery here can actually go into the Samsung portable x-ray and you can actually use it when the batteries are completely depleted. You can take the battery out of the detector, pop it in the x-ray if you need to unlock the machine to move it around in case your users left it unplugged and it's completely depleted how crazy is that because this doesn't seem like it's that big of a battery it's only 11 volts and it's 37.74 watt hours or 3400 milliamp hour not very big but it's enough to unlock that device and to be able to move it around here you can see the detector panel it's got a uh, carbon fiber radiolucent front side and that's the side that the image hits on there's also a array of detectors inside. Now the diameter on the older board, the detectors actually are a larger diameter than on the new one. And I don't know if that means that they have more detectors, that would probably mean more sensitivity, but definitely a cool experience here. Oh, look at this. We have 11.55 volts, 3,200 milliamp hours on the newer panel. So cool. Anyway guys, that is uh, just something that uh, you probably have never had the opportunity to do unless you accidentally dropped one and split it completely open. We're taking it behind the scenes and uh, showing you what you probably haven't seen before. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below with what you'd like to see in future videos.